good afternoon. This is Sunday afternoon, so I decided to make some soup for dinner. I'm going to make uh, shrimp mushroom soup with ramen noodles. It'll be a oriental type of soup, and uh, I think uh, it's going to be very good. I've done it before, and it worked out great, so that's what we're going to have for dinner tonight. When we were camped on the beach in Baja, we'd uh, wait for the shrimp men or the fishermen to come in and see if they had any shrimp. And you could always tell if they had shrimp aboard from the flock of seagulls following them. If they had shrimp, they'd be cleaning them on the way in, throwing the heads over board, and the seagulls would be there. No seagulls, no shrimp. These are raw shrimp here, so I'm going to cook them and the way to tell when they're cooked is when the first one floats. Well, they're floating now, so that means that they're cooked. I'll just uh, dump the water in the uh, strainer over here, catch them and take the next step. Well I've got two cups of water coming to a boil here and I'm going to uh, put in a package of chicken flavored ramen noodles. I uh, want to break those up. Like that. That's enough. And get the flavor pack out. Set it aside. Dump in the noodles. And about two ounces of mushrooms here. I've already rinsed them. Now, as soon as that comes to a boil, I'm going to uh, cook it for about three minutes. That'll be long enough to cook the uh, noodles. Cook the ramen. You know the thing about it is you can add just about anything to ramen noodles and it works. Uh, when my son was in college, he ate ramen noodles, and one day he was wanting some kind of meat, so there were squirrels outside of the building, so he shot a squirrel and put it in there and cooked it with the, the ramen noodles. Said it was delicious. Well, the noodles are done. That's been three minutes now that, since they've been cooking. And we'll have to open the flavor pack and add it in there. And then I want to put about another cup and a half to two cups of chicken stock in here just to make a more soup in the bowl. Now you can use either chicken stock or you can make it and, and use Weiler bullion in there. That works very well. And that's just right. I have four cups in there now. As soon as that comes to a boil, be ready to add the rest. And I want to put some onion flakes in there. And some powdered garlic. Now, of course, you can use fresh or or canned or whatever. Just put some garlic and onions in there. And let that come back to a boil. In the meantime, 
I peeled the shrimp and cut some of them down to bite size and left two here with the tails on and it has a reason for that and I'll show it to you. I'll go ahead and put these shrimp in here. let that come to a boil. In the meantime I'm going to taste it for salt. Perfect. That spoon goes over there and the first spoon comes out. See I didn't put the spoon back in that I tasted with. I know that I would have been chastised for it had it done so. Okay, it's simmering now again. So it's hot enough to go into the bowls. down far enough that I can pour it into the bowls now. Now about half in this one and the other half in this. bit so I need to transfer some from this bowl over into this one. Okay they're about even there. I garnish the top with some chopped green onions. Those two shrimps that I had left, lay them right on top. Now it's ready to go to the table. Okay, here it is on the table. And you know that bowl of soup would cost you from six to nine dollars as a luncheon special in most any jazz. Japanese or Chinese restaurant uh, here in the Dallas Fort Worth area you get on the west coast or east coast and you're looking at close to twenty dollars for that bowl of soup. Give it a taste here. Get me a mushroom and a piece of shrimp if I can find one. There we go. Catch that noodle there. That is good. What do you think of it, hon? I taste delicious. Well, you know that one shrimp on top, if it was a Chinese restaurant, they'd pick it up with their chopsticks and bite off of it. But since I don't have chopsticks, I'm just going to use fingers on the end of it here that makes a little handle.
get me a bite of that big shrimp. You know, if you're going to buy shrimp to make this, you'd be better off to buy a smaller, already peeled and cooked shrimp, and then you could just add them to it. I had to peel these and and uh, get them ready and cut them up and everything. Still, it only took about 30 minutes to make this. <clears throat> That's the thing about Ba. You could drive off the main road down either side to the ocean and find a fish camp or a small village and you can buy the shrimp and seafood and whatnot like that as fresh as you could get it. Or if you wanted to camp in the desert, well, five miles away from the ocean and you were in high desert country. Baja used to be a beautiful place to go, but Anymore, it's so overrun with high-dollar hotels, and uh, people go there, stay in the hotels, and never get out of those. And might as well just save some money and go to Las Vegas and get the same thing. So, God bless America, God bless Texas, and God bless all you beautiful people out there, and especially my subscribers. You have a good Sunday night. Bye.